We're getting ready to do a peripheral angiogram, which is actually an imaging process in which we look at uh, the patient's legs. The patient this morning is complaining of leg pain when she walks, so she has history of prior peripheral vascular disease or blockages in her legs. Well, the plaque that occurs in the peripheral arteries is actually the same plaque that occurs in the coronary arteries or the, you know, the arteries that go to the brain. It's all made up of uh, cholesterol and inflammatory material uh, that occurs in the wall of the arteries. Uh, and this can occur in any artery in the body. The peripheral vascular disease just has to do more with the arteries that involve the, the legs and the, the arms. Uh, the process is oftentimes not as dramatic as the heart arteries because people don't have leg attacks. Uh, so most patients can have pretty progressive disease in the legs. Even a lot of times the legs can be 100% closed, but they're able to build these small collaterals or these small micro vessels that go around the, uh, the blockage and they can actually do quite well with that process. You generally wouldn't tolerate that uh, in the heart arteries. So most of the peripheral vascular work we do, we're tr we tend to find pretty severe disease, meaning pretty severe blockage at the time the patients develop symptoms. We'll take pictures of the heart arteries. Uh, depending on what we find, we'll, we'll determine what's the most, or the most appropriate method to fix that. Uh, primarily, the most simple, straightforward processes would be to do a balloon to move the, the debris or the plaque out of the way, the cholesterol out of the way, and then place a stent. A stent is a little scaffold made out of primarily um, metal mixtures, stainless steel being the primary metal, and it acts as a scaffold to open the artery. Most patients uh, can expect to spend a night in the hospital. Uh, the next day they should go home, primarily about a week's worth of uh, relaxation. Uh, primarily uh, because of the access site, we have to poke a hole in, a, in an artery in the leg traditionally. Uh, it's a high pressure hose and that artery has to heal. So it forms its own little scab or clot and any real vigorous activity, heavy lifting does pose a risk that you could have bleeding at that site. So we generally ask the patient to rest for about a week. Uh, as far as from uh, the stent implantation, you know, that stent once it's placed there is, is permanently there. There's no real risk for movement or anything they can do to bother or harm that stent. So the recovery period is purely based on you know, placing that small tube in the artery.